Rome, the city known as the Open Air Museum, never ceases to amaze those who come to visit. This crossroads of civilizations offers visitors a unique experience through the history of mankind, from the classical age down to our own times. And the perfect example of how such different worlds can be combined into a harmonious balance is the Centrale Monte Martini. Located on the Via Ostiense Road, outside the Aurelian Walls, this former thermoelectric power plant has now been turned into an exceptional museum. Here, two diametrically opposed realities, classical and industrial archaeology, blend into a well-calibrated play of contrasts. Next to the old machines of the power plant in an almost surreal environment are ancient Roman sculptures and valuable archaeological finds discovered in the area since the end of the 19th century. In the heating room, visitors can also get a closer look at the huge monumental complexes of the Republican era and the imperial period of ancient Rome. And it is here, in this magical context, that the private train of Pope Pius IX has finally found a place. It's a masterpiece of mechanical engineering from the end of the 19th century. The train consists of three carriages. The first carriage, known as the balcony, was used as a loggia so the Pope could bless the crowds that gathered around the train while he was traveling through the Papal States. The second carriage, called the throne room, adjoined the balcony and was connected to it through a wrought iron small platform. This carriage was used as a meeting room and included a small private apartment for the Pope, covered in precious purple drapes and with a small private bathroom. The third and last carriage contained the private chapel of the pontiff. It was the most sumptuous of the three carriages, adorned with copper sculptures, frescoes, and paintings. In this, the pope served mass during one of his trips. Pius IX was always aware of the importance of the railroad for the economic, social, and political development of the country. And it was indeed during his reign that the railroad network was built which connected Italy to the rest of Europe. In the year 1859, the Pope made his first trip from the station of Porta Maggiore in Rome to the station of Albano, about 15 miles south of Rome, near the Papal Summer Palace of Castel Gandolfo. When the Papal States were incorporated into the rest of Italy in 1870, the Pope King proclaimed himself prisoner of the Vatican, and his private train ended up in a depot of the railroad station of Rome, the capital of the newly formed Kingdom of Italy. After being stored in various places, Pius IX's train can be found today in what might very well be its natural habitat, the Centrale Monte Martini, where history, art, and mechanics all combine to create one of the most extraordinary museums of the capital. <laughs>